Today is a very difficult day for all of us who know and love Coach Rawls so much. And uh, today is a day to mourn and to hurt and to have sorrow. Uh, and I know he wouldn't want that, but Saturday will be a day to celebrate his life. Uh, the ball game will have different tributes to him. Number one, our players will be wearing a, a DKR in the middle of the uh, Longhorn logo, which has uh, uh, never been uh, a tribute to a, a single person before, but uh, uh, you got a guy who uh, changed the scope of college football. He actually started the wishbone, and he's given so much more to people than he took, and he's also given so much more to college football than uh, in, in my estimation, anyone has before. There'll also be a tribute at halftime for the band and a, a moment of silence before. And our team will actually, our offense, the first play on the field will line up in the wishbone uh, in, in honor of Coach Royal and all the teams and all the things that he meant to so many people to start the game. Sally and I wouldn't have come to Texas without Coach Royal. He's a guy I've always admired. Uh, he's a guy that uh, was good to me before we came to Texas. Uh, I lost my father right before we came, and he became a, like a family member to me. He was a mentor, he was a coach, he was a friend, uh, but he was more like a family member. He was uh, like a, a second dad to me. He was an older brother to me. Coach and Edith have been like family to us, and, and as, uh, uh, as tough a day as this is for me personally and for Sally personally, uh, because we're, we're, we're really feeling sorrow for his family, and especially Edith. Um, we also, in time, will be able to reflect all the things that he's meant to us, all the things that he's given us, uh, and, and how important that people like him, that are true friends, mean to you in your life. Very few people are able to coach 20 years as a head coach at Division I, uh, win 11 conference championships and three national championships. It just doesn't happen. He's a Hall of Famer. But he gave much more than that. He gave back to the people that he coached, he gave back to his coaches, and, and, and Coach stayed current uh, long after he quit coaching because he loved the game of football. And he always came over here and watched practice and, and wondered what we were doing, and he always had good input. Now that uh, Coach is gone, we, we sure will not forget, uh, but we have to move forward. And as we're moving forward and keeping his memory alive, I'd like to make sure that all of us that know and care uh, the family uh, keep Miss Edith uh, and uh, all of the family members uh, in our thoughts and prayers at this time of sorrow.